All right. So, um, welcome to uh, General Biology 2. We'll, we will begin today's lecture with a lecture on the digestive system. So, the digestive system, let's go back in. The digestive and the excretory, which will be the second topic after this, uh, systems help the organism to absorb nutrients and remove waste. It is <clears throat> everything to do with nutrition. It is everything to do with sustenance. May it be nutrition from food, car like carbs, proteins, kind of macromolecules, or may it be like minerals or vitamins and etc. So organisms must obtain nutrients using food procurement structures, processes, and adaptations. So question, how do organisms take in nutrients and process food for survival? I think that's very obvious in our case no master ta ani no what what do we what do we use so that we can uh, absorb the nutrients or what do we do for us to not go hungry nasha and why do we go hungry in the first place so have you ever asked these kinds of questions charot so let us uh, let us distinguish between metabolism and nutrition. When you say metabolism, it refers to all the chemical reactions that take place inside an organism's body. Have you heard of like statements like "niwang kay ko murag paspas kay ako metabolism"? The way that our body processes the um, nutrition that we get from the food—that's metabolism. And when you say nutrition, this is the intake of food from various sources and the processes that convert food substances into living matter. And so that's the difference between metabolism and nutrition. So let us begin with animal nutrition. So, of course, there are two types of organisms in terms of nutrition. So you have the autotrophs and the heterotrophs. So naakai... Uh, like for example, si doggy right here, no? Si Roldan, kuno daw ni. Sure. <laughs> okay. So, kanisha, this is obviously a, a heterotroph, just like us. Kaya nga, no, they eat, um, they eat food from um, other sources. Like, they eat it from the meat that they eat, the dog food that they have. Na -na. Good dog. <laughs> Joke na to, oy. Just kidding. And, of course, your plants, uh, kita Basically, wala. <laughs> so they make their own sugars. They make their own quote unquote food uh, so that they can sustain their nutrition. Inan as a talented, no? Unfortunately, because we are very complex animals, kita, mga dogs, atong pet cats, tong goats, and whatever, we uh, are not autotrophs. We are heterotrophs. So, um, you know what autotrophs already are? These are, um, a lot of them are photosynthetic. Meaning they uh, they need the sunlight, the water, um, to power up the whole process of making these sugars. No, heterotrophs. On the other hand, there are several classifications. So you have the herbivores, the carnivores, the omnivores, and the detrivores. When you say herbivores, they eat plants. So that's very obvious. And when you say carnivores, they eat flesh. They eat meat. Uh, Omnivores, they eat both. They eat plants and animals, just like us, mga tao, no? We eat uh, vegetables and we also eat... May um, ko human flesh, I'm sorry. We also eat animal flesh. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry. And then we have the detrivores. The detrivores, they, um, they get nutrients from decaying bodies of plants and animals. Ganan sila o ng mga lata na. Lata na o mga... Um, bulok na na sila. So, uh, here are some some pictures. So, we have, I'm going to classify them. Okay, so, morning one, picture number two, this is three, and this is four. Okay, determine what kind of classification, oh, sorry, uh, heterotroph classification these animals are. So, let's start with the animals on picture number one. What are they? What kind of classification is it? Um, is it herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, or detrivores? Okay, number one is herbivores. Yes, that's correct. So we have the zebra, um, the koala, the deer, giraffe. The elk. We don't have these animals here. And then you have your cow. No? They eat 
grass. So that's why they are herbivores. How about the the animals in um, picture number two? The lions, the crocodiles, the bald eagle, the wolves. These are carnivores. They're very obvious. It's very obvious, no? We don't have these animals here. We do have the crocodiles, though. And uh, how about the animals in uh, picture number three? We have the snails, the millipedes, and the crabs. What do you call them? Detrivores. Is it detritivores? I may be wrong. Sorry, detritivores. It's very hard to pronounce detritivores. I always like shorten it to detrivores, and I don't know why. The treaty wars. Ano si Lira ang nag-answer? Amo uban? Okay. That is the reason why uh, the gun people allergic of crabs, no? Because they get lang ka ng, they eat lang ka ng mga whatever sa dagat. Kaya mga, sometimes dirt. No? Shrimps and crabs, they're notorious for eating dirt of other animals. So that is why there are a lot of people who are allergic uh, to crabs and shrimp. Just that's me. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I'm 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 severely allergic to crabs and shrimps. But ang shrimp ko an um I had ako allergic to shrimp pag if it is cooked with the skin. Kana siya? If it's cooked with the skin, grabe akong allergies on that like there's like life and death situation. <laughs> let me ang shrimp. Yes, let me get ang shrimp. No. How about ang shrimp, mom? Yes, ang shrimp. They they eat can um, yeah they eat dirt. <laughs> so I'm severely allergic to those animals. The crab, my goodness. There was one time I allergic to crabs. Like I knew I was allergic to shrimps, but you know I I didn't really know that I was allergic to crabs because we don't really eat a lot of crabs in our household because. Usahin naman yun ng alimango, no? Hindi naman yun na siya ka ng all the time available. So, there was one time uh, na available siya and we had like this um, family gathering and then I ate I ate like two crabs and then I started feeling bad. Like, kana yung murag amin ako ka ng my tummy was going crazy and uh nanginit jud ko like init kay ko na namula jud ko and that that was when i knew oh my god i'm allergic to crabs this is I, this is so sad so kanang kanang lobster ay kanang kita mo nang sea mantis kanang dagko more sa lobster pero dili sila lobster sea mantis am i correct si basta kana sila um wala na ko ning dare og kaon na kay feeling nako na kay if i eat that if you eat that you'll be dead Okay, how about number four? How about the animals in number four? We have the honey badgers, the brown bears. We don't have those here. The monkey, we, we do have that. The macaques. Squirrels, we don't have squirrels. Skunks, no. Kwati, I think it's in South, Af South Africa. South uh, Asia, Southern Asia. But we don't have that here. Yes, these are omnivores. So they eat, like for example, for bears, they eat like salmons. Mona, mojo na lang favorite kaya mga fishes, mga isda, majorly salmons. And then they love to eat like berries and other fruits. And um, they even eat like human food. Have you seen those videos nga they interact ang mga bears, wild bears that is, uh, bears with humans in the wild and then naato yung sa video nga nagkaon ang human o ka ng peanut butter sandwich and then ang um, ang bear kay nagulat pa sad siya ano siya grabe ang tanaw sa human and then ang, ang lalaki na yun kigimuan din yung sandwich ang kuan ang bear din kaon sad siya ang bear cute ka ayo and dili niya pet ang bear kuan niya ang bear kan uh, ano ka ng naa sila sa camping grounds bitaw ang mga tao so the bear was really wild. It was a wild bear. So, wala lang. Polite kayo siya. Kaya nagulat dun siya. Gulat na siya nga hatagan. <laughs> Inalas na dun tao bang tao ba? Charot. Okay. I'll not talk about this anymore. Let's go to the types of digestive systems of animals. So, um, you have uh, different types of digestion, no? So, for the simpler animals, just like, for example, your amoeba, 
they perform intracellular digestion because they, they're not very complex animals. They're single-celled organisms, basically. So uh, it happens, digestion, ha digestion happens inside the cells through food vacuoles. And this kind of digestion is common in single-celled organisms like your amoeba and also your paramecium's. No? And they perform what we call as phagocytosis. So if you're going to look at the keywords there, phago meaning hope, pag engulf or pag eat. And then cytosis meaning it's a process in the cell. So that's phagocytosis. And then you have, uh, for complex animals, we have extracellular digestion, where nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream after they have been broken down with the digestive cavity while wastes are excreted out. So this happens when food is broken down outside of cells as observed in animals and gastrovascular, with, sorry, gastrovascular cavity. Yung si pasabot ng gastrovascular cavity. Kanibit ang opening bitaw. Like, for example, sa ato ang abdomen. Pag open mo sa abdomen, it's like a huge-ass cavity. Uh, kining cavity. Cavity, basically, it's a, it's a hollow, it's a hollow space in your body. And then inside of this abdominal cavity or gastrovascular cavity, you will have all of your digestive organs there. So, um, kidney extra, extracellular digestion is, it is, uh, from the name itself, uh, this digestion happens outside of the cell. Bale, we eat, um, it goes through like a, uh, a synthesis, it goes through the stomach, uh, the nutrients will be absorbed in the duodenum and then with the release of bile and other enzymes from the pancreas that to then yama absorb ang kining macromolecules no and then these macromolecules when they get absorbed like your carbohydrates proteins and lipids they will be converted into their smaller uh, smaller they will be converted into this their simplest forms like for example when you talk about sugar they will be they will be converted into glucose and for proteins into amino acids etc etc and then i had an islam transport sa imong bloodstream okay it will be absorbed into your blood and then your blood will be the one to deliver it into the cells so that's what happens when uh, you talk about extracellular digestion that was just a brief overview. Do not panic. Huh? So there are two types of digestive systems. So you have your incomplete and complete digestive systems. When you say incomplete digestive systems, which are basically found in animals like your hydra, your water hydra, your flatworms, and uh, silent. It's very hard to pronounce. These animals have a single opening where food and waste pass through. Like, can you in your hang sea stars? Um, Kana yung sea stars, di ba, usa naman na siya ka-opening. Ano sa tunga? Usa naman na siya ka-buok. Um, mauna siya nga opening, musulod ang food. Dara sad musulod ilahang poop. O di ba? Very nice. <laughs> Imagine if we only had one opening. Oh my God. Human centipede. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, kanang, it's so sad. But <laughs> that's their kind. That's their... Um, that's how they digest, no? So, usa lang ilahang opening for both the ingestion of the food and the excretion of the waste. And then, um, but, you know, we, we have to give them um, concessions because these are simple animals. Simple of such lang animals. They're not very complex animals. They don't have the same intellect ju just like us, no? So, they don't really need a very complicated digestive system. And of course, you have the complete digestive system wherein pariyo sa ato mga tao, we have a mouth for the ingestion of food and a dedicated um, opening for the excretion of waste. So there is a complex alimentary canal that contains one-way tubes with different openings for the mouth and the anus. And the ingested food stays at different compartments or regions of the digestive tract where ingestion storage, digestion, and absorption of nutrients take place. So, mo siyang processes ha, sa imuhang digestion. Digestion, number one. Uh, storage, actually, we will talk about the processes later. Okay. Molecules that are not needed by the body are excreted out uh, as poop. No? 
So one of the complete digestive system, it's a complex array of organs. So sa ato, ah, in humans, the digestive system is not only composed of an alimentary canal, but also with glands. Glands like your pancreas, which release enzymes. No, They release enzymes so that we can digest these macromolecules. And your liver, which release bile salts that can emulsify fats. And they, uh, of course, uh, factor na sila sa koan, digestion. Importante kina sila. Even though we call them like accessory, accessories to the digestive system, even though ina na atong tawag sila, but they're very essential to digestion. Because if you've seen like people with, um, people with problems with their livers, makita na di mo yellow, kana kana mga people na yellow kay skin, na nilahang. The whites of their eyes, the sclera of their eyes are yellow. They already have problems with their liver. Mm -mm. So they cannot really digest fat correctly. So manang sometimes people with liver cirrhosis or hepatitis A, uh, A or C, dana, um, koan kanang magliso sa lag digest of fats. And sometimes it may be uh, evidenced or it may be manifested through vomiting. Like, oh, magsuka sila, or magsakita jud ilang liver, like sakit kailang abdomen right after. So, magpasalamat ta kang Lord nga okay ato mga livers, and what na dili ta magpalabi og koan, ha? Dita magpalabi og inum, o dita magpalabi og koan, kaon og mga kanang lamang luob, ana. So most of the nutrition of higher vertebrate animals, just like us humans, are linked to the consumption of cellulose present in plants. However, most animals lack the enzyme to digest cellulose. Mona ka nang sometimes kana bitong if you've heard like uh, gluten free because gluten is a kind of carbohydrate that binds food. It's a bind. It's a binder of foods. It's a natural binder. So, if you've heard like that, kind of gluten-free, there are people that cannot digest gluten, but it's not really like for diet purposes. You know what I mean? Like for losing weight? No, not really. It's for people that cannot digest gluten properly. And you call that um, celiac disease, I believe, if I'm not wrong. So, um, there are also certain gastrointestinal bacteria and protists that are present in our digestive systems. And um, they are normal li normally living there. Uh, and then they help in our digestion. Like, for example, di ba gina promote na to nga, drink ya cold every day. Every day, okay. Di ba nada? I'm sorry, nasa ya cold. Okay. Di ba ya cold has lactobacilli serota strain. Ana. It's a kind of uh, lactobacillus that was gitawag shirota because the one who discovered that was a Japanese scientist. No, so kano yakult? It's a Japanese brand. So uh, this cultured milk contains this lactobacillus, and then it actually is normal in our um, intestines. No, it helps in our digestion. So um, yeah, I lang mo pasubra. I lang mo pasubra yakult. Okay, sometimes if masubra and decide makalibanga sa mo. Oo. So, kato lang. Okay na to siya recommended size. Yan ito kagamay ng Yakult. Pero labi na ng Yakult, no? Labi na kung sagol sa milk tea. Lagyan mo ng fries, burger. Oo, oh, kanya siya. Hindi siya mag-next. Na naman eh. Lagali kayo nag-leave sa meeting. Okay, wait a minute ha. Nag-kuan na sad siya. Okay, let's go to um, some individual, not individual, but specialized um, digestive systems. Let's start with the ruminants. No, ruminants just like your cows, your um, goats. Kana sila kana sigi og chu, nom nom nom. Kana sigi nguya nguya. So why do they do that? Why do they always nguya nguya? Na. So uh, with the ruminants, they actually have four compartments. Sa ilahang ko ano sa ilahang uh, stomach, no, you have your rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. So they feed in roughage like hay, grass, straw. Kana sila na mga ano, kana sila na mga bagay bagay. So, kini mga gusto, they are rich in cellulose. Uh, normally, sa atua mga humans, we cannot digest cellulose properly. 
Uh, that's why we don't eat grass the same way as these animals. Try ga. Ayaw ninyo try, please. May unta kong try ninyo, pero ayaw. Don't try. Don't eat the grass, okay? But the thing is, because they feed on that, um, they will need um, several compartments in their stomach so that the grass will be digested thoroughly. Because uh, lisod mag would digest ang cellulose, no? So, the rumen, the, this rough, roughage will go through the rumen first where fermentation takes place. You know, ferment sa niya ang kuan, ang imuhang grass, no? What is fermentation? Or lessons in Gen Bio 1, katong sa kawan, no? cellular respiration, no? Uh, fermentation is what happens when uh, dili, uh, kanang ihang i- I eat up tanan sugars. Ana. So, I eat up niya and then um, makaproduce din siya. For animals, we are able to produce like lactic acid. Um, sa kuan lang, sa others, like your yeast, they're able to produce alcohol as a byproduct of fermentation. No, So, that's uh, what the ruin does. This is where fermentation takes place. And then, step to uh, ma proceed in a reticulum where it traps large food particles and has has a honeycomb like structure monisha ang kanang bitong ginakaon bitaw ninyo tripe have you heard of that wala ko kabaluson sa bisaya nakalimot ko sa bisaya aning tripe tripe kana mo ug towel toalya have you heard of that do you eat that? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Do you eat tripe? Eh, do you eat sa kuan? Sa cow? Dili kay ko ganahan. Katong circle. Kana ba itong mag-naasay ka ng mag-honeycomb like ana-ana o pattern? Then, di ba color yellow man na siya? I believe. Then, of course, kung lutuon siya, di na siya yellow. Uh, so, that's your reticulum, no? So, this is where food particles are regurgitated. Regurgitated meaning, pagkaw man niya dito, ibalik niya ang bolus or ibalik niya tong na-digest, partially digest grass sa ba-ba. O, ibalik niya, regurgitate. Rechewed, so, ichew na sa balik para mo gamay pa dito siya. And then re swallowed. So that is why your 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 ruminants are always chewing. So it's like chew, chew because na they part ana sa ilang partially digested food na mo balik i regurgitate sa cow and then ihan nasa i chew balik na na siya. Yeah, and then uh, pag balik na niya when it's re swallowed, it goes to the omasum where it filters. Uh, uh, it is a filter that squeezes water out. Oh, okay. And then next, you have your abomasome, which digests proteins. And then lastly, we have the small intestines where it will absorb soluble food. And uh, sometimes even because um kana ilaha mga grass, no, it's not it doesn't really have a lot of minerals. So a lot of your cattle farmers, kananga farm og mga baka kay naana sila huge blocks of salt like kung inom sa water na ading dako kay dara nga nga asin block of asin they can lick on that asin so that they can get minerals from there so asin not only sodium but also other uh, other salts no like your potassium salts and magnesium salts and etc so wana inyo hang ruminants ma'am ka remember na ko paklay ang tawag ana nga sudan is it paklay? Di ba paklay kasi? Ah, paklay is a mix, no? Di li raman siya small intestines, no? If, I, if I'm if i not wrong. Ambot bito, eh. Basta ka na siya. <laughs> you know what? When I, uh, katong, um, sa China bito, okay? It's everywhere. And I was not brave enough to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Dito kay ko fan o ka ng lamang loob. So, there was one time nga, nagpalit, somebody bought like, um, by bowl, manguna siya. So, street food na siya sa China. And then, um, barato na magun siya. So, kanang, nang, i-offer yan din ko. Ako na, ah, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Oo, so, yeah. 
kay Lara mo basta. Ah, what happened to my oh my gosh. Nadaot sa da kung PowerPoint. I'm so sorry. Bago lang gali ta nagkuan, bago lang isa nadaot, nadaot sa siya. Please wait a moment. Okay, wait a minute, huh? There are also there are also animals. Makita ni mo no. Kadang nganong na amay na ay kadang like for example rabbit. Nganong ga ano mas laga samok samok sa ilang butthole sa ilang anus. And then they're sort of like eating their poop. Na ibang ina ng animals like your koala. Um, kana sila because they don't regurgitate. Merg ilahang i partially digest ilang food. Okay, dili man na absorb og tarong ang nutrients and that no because again um your rabbits and your koalas they don't have the four chambers like your ruminants have so they partially digest the grass that they eat and then katong first nga poop pwede pa to nila ma-redigest so they eat the poop again and then they eat, they eat it and then ma-digest sa siyang tarong Ayan. So, thank God dili tay nana. Excuse me, ma'am. Dili sa angelic ka sa meat. Bahay pa doon li sa iyo. Okay, no problem. Okay. And then you have your of course your amoeba where it uses phagocytosis for digestion and your planaria as well, no? So, they are carnivorous um bottom feeders and because they don't have body ca cavity, they just, you know, uh they grasp food through their soft mouths and then Paspas kina ilang digestion. And then you have your avians, uh, your birds, basically your chickens, your ducks, your turkeys. Um, they have um, special na mga uh, parts sa ilang digestive system. They have your proventiculus, which is basically their stomach. More siya, yeah, uh, stomach. And then where enzymes and hydrochloric acid are secreted. And then nadin sila yung ventriculus, which what we call as a gizzard. Kano itong dua ka buok? Nakakaon mo, Anna. Kanang sa mga barbecuehan. Gizzards. Batty colon. You know that batty colon. Uh, where food is grounded. And then your cloaca, where undigested food go and mixed with wastes from the urinary, the, from the urinary system. And that is why, maka-observe mo, kanang iti bitaw sa kuan, iti sa langgam. Basa-basa, dyan na siya, no, kay? Uban naman na siya sa ihi. Ay lang poop, no? So the ET is wet because it has uh, urine with it. Ana, usan lai lang opening. <laughs> okay, so if you look at the pelican, fanihan yung kikwani ng pelican, it, it's uh, doing its best to eat the fish. <clears throat> the wicked bugat pa kay ang fish. <laughs> so iya lang like, give up. Oh, so pelicans can actually do that. They can swallow like one whole fish, but it's so heavy. So one that should know, but they can do that. They do that. Do you remember the pelican from what movie is that? Finding Nemo. Hala ka iga alang iga alang yasa lagi ako PowerPoint. Nagfreeze sa cha. Are you serious? What happened? Ayan. And for us humans, we have four processes in digestion. We have ingestion, where you know we eat the food. And then we have digestion where 
um, <clears throat> your hydrochloric acid together with the enzymes are able to absorb the macromolecules from the food that we eat. Not only the macromolecules, but also the minerals and also the vitamins. And then another thing, absorption, which largely happens in the small intestines where nutrients are diffused through the walls of the capillaries. And uh, these nutrients are taken from the small intestines into the bloodstream. And then elimination, wherein we poop out what is not necessary or what is not used during the digestive digestion process. All right, so there are multiple feeding mechanisms in animals. You have your suspension feeders, your filter feeding, substrate feeders, your fluid feeders, and bulk feeders. So among, among these five, we'll figure it out. So with, we will start with the suspension feeders. Kini mong mga suspension feeders, just like your bacteria, your phytoplanktons, and your zooplanktons, uh, they use their body parts to move water toward a feeding structure to sift through the food suspended in water. So it has a lot to do with water or naasa sa fluid, uh, fluid environment. That is why they're called suspension feeders. So, pangalan pa lang, suspension. So, uh, those are your suspension feeders. And uh, next, we have your, oh my God, it stopped working again. What is wrong? Seriously. Next, we have your, ako na lang iyaw yaw ha, kamulukog akoan. Oh, iniliyok man siya. Okay, na ang na ka Sorry. And then we have your filter feed feeding uh, filter feeders. Um, this is um, a subtype of your suspension fee feeders. Uh sila ang food towards their mouths, just like your uh, just like your what do you call this? Your your whales, your humpback whales. Na asli ka ng what you call as baleen. Murasyo ka ng projection sa ilang sa ilahang mouths no kada murag murag ka ng hair <laughs> murag hair like huge huge strands of hair so they sift through small shrimps known as krills and small fishes through their baleen this is also being used by your clams kana sila and then uh, oysters as well so um they have a film of mucus in their gills, which traps tiny bits of food suspended in water. So these are your filter feeders. Next, we have your, uh, just like this one. Oh. Your, I know, your, what do you call that? Shark, whale shark. Kada yung whale shark na namakita ninyo sa Cebu. Kada sila. Have you been there? I haven't been. Katong na ay mga whale sharks sa Cebu. Asa kali na dapit? Nakalimot ko. I've never been there. And I don't want to be. They're so huge. Dagko kay sila. Ay, Oslo. Thank you very much. I forgot the name of the place. Yes. Oh, scary man. Dagko kay sila. My goodness. Even katong... Have you been, uh, kisay mga taga Uzamis diri, but have you been to Uzamis City in Misamis Occidental? Uh, there's a place uh, beyond the city called Moap. Have you heard of that? Misamis Occidental Aquamarine Park. And way back when I was in college, we used to go there every sem break. It's either every sem break or every, every summer. We go there because my best friends live in, I know, in Ozami City. And um, sa Moab, um, you can swim with the dolphins. And you, not only dolphins, you can swim with a lot of fishes. Like really, really big fishes. Like tuna kadako. And then looking back, like na amaze kay ko kay, wala ko na had look sa una. Karun ki, uh, tako kaayo ang whale shark. Wala na ko na kaya. <laughs> They're so big. Okay, we have your substrate feeders. Um, ang substrate feeders, just like your earthworms and uh, a lot of your worms, basically, they live in or on their food source. So, kini earthworm, like kini earthworm, asam siya nag live, di ba sa ground? Dara siya mag eat. Muna mga substrate feeders, no? 
They eat their way through the soil while digesting and excreting food as they crawl. Di ba, makita ni mo nga, naaday ka na murag trails of kanang, I amin mean, yung soil, but it's actually poop. Poop sa kuwa na siya, no, sa uh, earthworm, no? So, yeah, naaday tayo vermiculture because they actually help in the environment, no, doing that. So, vermiculture, that's basically using earthworms as fertilizer. Natural fertilizer for your plants. And then next we have your fluid feeders. Basically, they, they feed on fluid. Uh, just like your mosquitoes and your lice. Eh, basta makita kong kuto kay... Hmm, mura kong kuan. Kana, mura sa kong mga tul sa ako ang ulo. Oh my goodness. They ingest their food by sucking nutrient-rich fluid from a living host that is either a plant or an animal. In this case, kini sila ng mga insects na itong kita on screen. Your lice and your mosquitoes, they, uh, they feed through animals like kita, human beings and your dogs and your cats. And they, they feed on the blood. Blood. Nato. E. Then, oh my goodness. Oh, kumakita niyo kung kuto, ambot na lang. Have you ever had kuto in your life? Basi wala pa. Katong mga wala pa, swerte kay mo. You are blessed by God. Pero katong nakakuto na sa ilang life, kisa may, kisa may nakakuto din, raise your hand. Charot. <laughs> kuto bita murag ni agi ma jutel itag in ana no moment sa tong life na ikuto ta but i can still remember um i can still remember like having kuto ano when i was 20 25 i believe or 26 i remember that na kanang natingalo ko nganong katul kay akong ulo den ayo ko na do i have kuto I was not playing with kids. I was not, you know, wala ko nakikhalubilo o mga bata. Usually mga bata man na ay kung ano, na ay lice. And lo and behold, I really had lice. Oh my God. So, it came from an adult. Oh. Pero karun, pasalamat na karun kay, uh, dili na ta kailangan bitaw, like, pero sa una nga, mag suyod Kani bitong gagmay king uh, comb para lang matangtang ang ano ang mga kuto. You can use permethrin. Permethrin kanang lice alis kana siya. So, sana na kay karon. Kutuhon sa bata pa kay sige glaag tinuod sige glaag dayon kanang you like to play with your friends so much then kada bitong katabitang bata pa mo kay you like to be close to one another all the time with your friends no? so mag tinakdanay dun mo og kuan og kuto very nice <laughs> okay we will uh, go to bulk feeders so we are part of the bulk feeders kita mga human human beings and our pets are part of the bulk feeders no so they ingest or we ingest large pieces of food into our mouths so we we use a variety of means such as claws just like your crabs crabs and your lobsters we don't have claws by the way uh, pincers poisonous fangs retractable jaws kita we don't have that <laughs> <laughs> na ma-retract atong jaws. Atong jaws lang kay ma open close sa anak lang, but di na to siya ma-retract pabalik. And sharp teeth to tear the food source into pieces of meat so that they could take mouthfuls of animal or plant body. So we are part of the bulk feeders. Just like these ones. For example, lalo ko ang holo silang ikaw ng rabbit. Mm, so sad. Ngayon, ang layo niyang gikaw ng I don't know what that is. It's a part of an animal. I don't know what animal that is. Okay. So let's go to the nutrient uptake in cells among animals. Okay. So let's go to the processes that involve that are involved here. For we have endocytosis. Uh, endo sa sangalan pa lang no. Endo. What is endo? Gawas. Outside. Yeah. Cytosis pertains to the cell. I sorry, not outside. Ah, oh, inside. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Nakadumbong na lang ko sa EXO, the boy band, the K-pop band, the one with Ken 
Ken Wu, the rapist. <laughs> yeah, endocytosis. Um, this is uh, where the cell membrane bends inward, just like in the illustration, diri. It bends inward, or what we call as invaginates, forming a vesicle that contains the macromolecule to be transported. So, pag ingest niya, the uh, katuda yung um, molecule ng sulod, it will be housed in this semi-membrane, no? And that's what you call your vesicle. So that it will be transported into the cell, pajud, and it will be kept safe from the other stuff. So there are three types of endocytosis. You have your phagocytosis, pinocytosis, and receptor-mediated endocytosis. Let's start with phagocytosis. We have already talked about this kaganina. Phago is like, sa pangalan pa lang, phago. When you say phago, it's something to do with eating. Okay? Eating. So basically, phagocytosis means, literally, means cell eating. This is a process wherein cells take in large particles or solids through the enfolding of the cell membrane to form endocytotic sorry, endocytic sorry, endocytic vesicles. So the process starts with the formation and extension of the membrane pseudopodia. So inanagyapon siya, no? It's, it's basically endocytosis kanang basic endocytosis. Maraming siya ginana. So the membrane pseudopodia surrounds and engulfs the macromolecule, packaging, the, packaging them in a membrane-bound vesicle called a phagosome. So kanina yung enclosure sa molecule will be called a phagosome. So phagocytosis is being exhibited by white blood cells to capture and kill the invading bacteria, viruses, or worn-out cells. If you remember our lecture on the immune system in the first grading, we talked about this, know how uh, a lot of your white blood cells, differentiated white blood cells, you have your neutrophils, eosinophils, katusila na mga cells, no? Katong mga mast cells, katong, katong the very first line of defense ni mo sa koan. Ideally, very first line, but katong mga first responders sa imuhang, um, sa imuhang second line of defense in um, with your WBCs. Kato sila, they actually phagocytos, phagos, how do I, what's the verb, what's the verb, ano, they phagocyt, phagocyt, Whatever they perform phagocytosis uh, against the the invading bacteria or whatever it is is it maybe maybe virus, so that's what they do. And uh, it is also used to eliminate cellular debris, kan mga char char lang sa cell na dili needed sa cell. Then you have your pinocytosis. Basically, this is uh, literally this literally means cell drinking. Pino as in drink. This is a process wherein a cell takes in fluids by the invagination of the cell membrane that forms a vesicle or a vacuole. If the vesicle is small with a diameter of 0.1 micrometers, it is called micropinocytosis. If it is 1 to 2 micrometers, then it will be called macropinocytosis. This can be observed in a human egg cell, a white blood cell, kidney cells, microvilli in intestines, body cells, and plant root system. That's pinocytosis or cell drinking. And then we have the receptor-mediated endocytosis. Specific molecules can be transported into eukaryotic cells to receptor-mediated endocytosis. Kailangan siya o receptors or uh, in um, kung sa ato apang term, mura siya yabi, lock and key. Kailangan siya o yabi para ma-admit siya inside the cell. No, That's what you call as receptor-mediated endocytosis. There are certain molecules that are transported through this uh, through this uh, method, like your LDLs or your low density lipoproteins, uh, the medyo dagko mangudi sila no versus sa ubang molecules no. So since they are larger and they are you know they are fat soluble, they will need to be uh, transported through a receptor. 
that's what they do. So only with the right fit of molecules against the shape of the receptors can plasma membrane begin to indent and form a pit. Again. So those are your three processes. But let's go to the human digestive system. Let's go to the specialization of the human digestive system. The human digestive system is composed of a tubular alimentary canal and its accessory glands. So it starts with the mouth and ends with the anus. I think that's very understandable. It starts with your mouth. It starts with a hole, taas, and ends with a hole in the bottom. So you start off with your mouth, wherein uh, naatay mga teeth that aid in mastication or the chewing of the food. So nanay partial digestion nakakahapin sa mouth palang. And in addition, you have your saliva, uh, dari, uh, released by your uh, several glands, no, like your submandibular glands. Kanasla, they release saliva into the roof of the mouth. Uh, roof of the mouth, sorry, into the into the mouth. So your saliva malang, natay what we call as mucin, which actually helps to soften the food with the help of the teeth. And in this mu, uh, in this saliva as well, we have what we call as your salivary amylase or just amylase. Basically, amylase is an enzyme that digests or begins the digestion of food, and this actually digests. It's a question, it's a follow-up question later. And then you have your tongue with you, which assists, assists, assists by rolling the food into small, slippery masses of boli or singular bolus. Bolus basically is gonna be tong kung pag eat na top ng mamamam, nguya, nguya, nguya. Kanasha, that is what you call your bolus. Dili naman siya matawag o food, kay iwan naman na siyang na chew. Or partially digested naman sadya. So that's it. So question, what enzyme is found in the saliva and what does it digest? Wala na ko giingon ang, ang ihang i-digest, right? Giingon na na ko unsa to siya nga enzyme. But yes, kindly answer this one. What enzyme is found in the saliva and what does it digest? You can Google, you can do whatever research. In Sigida Karon, go ahead. Uh, if you have an answer, please uh, write your answers in the chat box. I'll wait for your answer. Salivary amylase, anasili, digest starch, all right. Any other answers from the class? Roldan says amylase and starch, okay. Napa? Saliva contains grab. special enzymes that help digest. Okay, starches. Very good. Wala na. Wala na mo answer. O sige. Okay, so salivary amylase, and then it digests starches. Starches are basically 
carbs, carbohydrates. Ngano man, ganong ganong specific man siya sa starches because starches are the most complex of all uh, sugars, no. You have your monosaccharides, polysaccharides, and then your starches. Your starches are basically very long chains of your carbohydrates, very long chains of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen. So, medyo lisod siya. It takes time to digest starches. Oh, na na siya. All right. So, thank you very much to those who have answered in the chat box. Pagpalain kayo ng Diyos. All right. So, after after inguya ninyo ang food, uh, you will proceed to the esophagus. The esophagus basically is the long tube connecting the mouth and the stomach. And it will, uh, kini siya, nganong, nganong mo, dritso man juda siya, nganong mo, agi man siya sa esophagus o ganun mo paingon juda siya sa stomach it's because of what we call as peristalsis basically this is the rhythmic wave like contractions that enables your bolus to be transported no in all, in all of your uh, in all of the parts of your digestive system dili lang man siya sa esophagus um makita sa gisha these uh, motions can be seen in the intestines as well that is why even if even if weird imong position like dili dili normal imong position like dili upright even if maghigda ka or upside down ka um dili once you swallow the food dili na siya mo, mo, it will not likely go back to the mouth it's because of peristalsis um ko ansha kanang uh, it negates your gravity not negates your gravity but if you're upside down then it negates gravity Oh, it enables your food to really be transported uh, from mouth to other parts of your digestive system. So it would take around 5 to 10 seconds for the food to pass from the pharynx down to the esophagus and into the sac-like stomach. So remember the pharynx. The pharynx will be behind uh, your kanang sa imuhang, sa uh, sa tube na paingon sa imuhang bron bronchioles, okay? Sa imong bronchi. Dili bronchial, sorry. Paingon sa imuhang lungs. So, so frontal ang lungs mo nang if you're going to stab somebody here on the throat, una jud madamage ang imuhang respirations. Okay, siya man ang nasa front. Ang kining sa food sa likod ni siya, sa posterior part. And then you have your sphincters. So, somebody's sphincters. Sphincters are basically like openings, no? Uh, Sphincters, these are muscular ring-like valves that regulates the passage of food into and out of the stomach. Kana mong anus, your anus, your kanang imohang poop hole is basically a sphincter. Makilaro ni mo siya kay it's muscular and pwede siya ma-open, pwede siya ma-close. Sphincters basically control and allow stomach acids and enzymes to continue the digestive process. But this kind of sphincter is kining diri makita sa stomach. You have two sphincters in the stomach. You have your lower esophageal sphincter. Wait, I'll change my ink. You have your lower esophageal sphincter or what we call as gastro esophageal sphincter money siya ang gakonek sa esophagus and your stomach and then naasad kay the other end of the stomach the pyloric sphincter pyloric sphincter which basically basically is the opening between your stomach and also your duodenum or the first part the first segment of your small intestines okay so that is your, um, those are your sphincters sa stomach ni mo. So your stomach, uh, the partially digested food, itong bolus, muagi na siya sa J-shaped stomach. Uh, asa man na siya sa region sa imuhang lawas, na na siya sa imuhang left upper quadrant. No? If you're going to uh, cut your abdomen in four quadrants, so na siya diri sa left um left upper quadrant that is also why if you're going to feel like hyper acidity not just the center the center okay usually diri man siya kahit abo no dara da pita and sometimes if ang stomach jud ang magsakit like you have um you have peptic ulcer inana diri na siya sa left side ni mo ma feel so the, di the, the diaphragm, the stomach lies beneath the diaphragm and partly covered by the liver. So the inner surface are convoluted. It can hold up when the 
when empty or expand if it's full. So it's very flexible. So if you have like um kanabe tong mga naiubang people nga mga celebrities and you know the the ones who want to get or the ones who want to lose weight and who don't want to gain a lot of weight, they there's this procedure called like BBM. Ay, sakto ba ko? Ay, BBM is Bongbong Marcos. I'm sorry. Dili BBM. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this is what you call as a gastric bypass surgery. Oh, Naanan siya lang pangalan. That's why nakain ko BBM because it sounds like that. I think it's BBL. Oh my goodness, I forgot. But um, I'm not very big on kung magud ka ng inani ng mga surgery ka ng mga aesthetics na surgery. So, gastric bypass, um, gastric bypass, uh, surgery, basically, ilahang i- ipagamay ang stomach. Like, nasla like, i-cut na segments sa stomach so that it it can uh, it can only accommodate like a small amount of food para ma-force it ka nga dili ka mag-overeat. Inana siya. So, that is one way of losing weight. Hmm. Or grabe kino. Well, sorry, kino. Kino nga tawa sa BBM. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, namalik ko. Sarah Duterte is running. But I'm so sad. Yeah, I thought she was gonna run for president, though. Vice president naman di ay. Who would you vote for? Are you gonna vote for vote for BBM? Kinsa mong president? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. They're not very good candidates. Wala jud. Wala jud ka ng somebody nga. Rest, yeah. Rest man. Half human, half alien ba to? Yung gingon. Si rest man. Half human, half alien. Or ka to sa, sa US sa una ba? These. Kado naman. I don't know if you know this. Somebody ran for president sa una. Yan pala kay D's. Yan pala, yan apelido kay Nuts. D's Nuts. <laughs> Nabi kito ka funny. And then, the funniest thing was, during the election, some, there are people who voted for him. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> Ay, zombie! Dili alien, I'm sorry. Half human have zombie, di ay. Tsiras <laughs> taman. But to be honest, I don't, I don't know who to, who to vote for for president. I don't find anybody uh anybody of them I don't know. I don't know. I used to like okay to si Isko sa una but I don't know I changed my mind. But anyways, we'll just see. We'll see. Anyways, so mana siya imong stomach no and um Uh, kini mo stomach, it is important because it releases your hydrochloric acid, which basically is what you call as your gastric juices, and it digests your food no? with the acid. So, question. What sphincter is found between the esophagus and the stomach and the stomach in the duodenum? Is ito mga pangalan ato? Number one is siya, esophagus and stomach, and number two is stomach and duodenum. So, I'm number one and two. Kindly answer in the chat box. Are you going to vote for BBM? I don't. Please don't. <laughs> But I don't know. It's your, it's your final choice. It's your choice. But you just can't forget what the Marcuses have done. Moingon lugas nga innocent sila. No, they were not innocent. These were from the stories of my parents ha? because during the wait, kabalo ko nga science ta, but um, these were the stories from the the 70s, the 70s matod pa sa kong parents. They uh, they were not innocent because during that time when, when the martial law was already, you know, kanang in effect Aimee Marcos was already 20, 28, something like that. And she was enjoying the luxuries that she had. And then BBM, see BBM said, he had a private army. So don't say that they were, they were innocent. Of course not. They were all guilty. They were all guilty. And then, Maayo lang dito kayo. I think maayo lang dito kayo ang PR team ni 
ni BBM because they're using his son. And, you know, there are a lot of Gen Zs karun on TikTok, you know, Gen Z na mga bata ka ng mga kaedad ninyo who find that kid handsome or bright. I don't know. I mean, he's just a person. So, we just have to chill for that guy. I mean, he's not Chris Evans. So, you know, chill. All right. Okay, correct. So, kini number one, uh, pwede siya lower esophageal sphincter or what you call as pretty such a gastro esophageal. And then, Number two would be pyloric sphincter. Yang. Kanasha. All right. So you know your sphincters already. That's great. That's great. Okay, second question. What are some common causes of heartburn? Heartburn is um kana bitong aslum ka inyo hang paminaw, sakit ki mong tiyan, then Ang, ang kasakit sa tiyan kay naa diri sa like in the middle of your stomach jud in the middle of your stomach in the middle of your abdomen jud what are some causes what do you think too much intake of soft drinks maybe mm -hmm. maybe maybe or basically like too much intake na too much uh, or too much uh, too much intake of food pede Overeating is a is an con. Yeah, acidic food. Pretty said. Generally, generally, it's a con. Too much intake of food. What else? What do you think? What do you think? Alcohol, yeah. Pretty intake of alcohol. Hmm. What else? What do you think? What do you think? What about if, uh, if what about if kanang ano fruits nga rich in vitamin C? Yeah, kanang very acidic foods. Mm -hmm. Too much spa, spa, Yes, acidic, spicy. Okay. What about kanang something to do with position? Switching my positions for you. Kana. What about something to do with high fat? Yes. Foods that are high in fat. Mm. Angit kaya agi. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what about positions? Like, what if kanang nagkaon ka na higda, right? Yeah, gahigda while gakaon. Yes, it has something to do with uh, like lying down, lying down while eating, or eating while lying down. Either way, yeah. So kana sila no these are some of the causes of your hyperacidity. But naapa jud medications. Pwede ka ayo. Like um taking in NSAIDs, kana sila notorious kana sila for causing hyperacidity. Usa na NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Uh some examples of that is your naproxen sodium kana uh, ayos na ang buto-buto. Skelan kana skelan, that's an NSAID. Um if you're not going if you're going to take the the medication without eating before, magsakita yun ay muntian. So it is very important that when you take these kinds of medications, kanang mayon bito ay mong doctor ng kailangan yung kamukaon before ana. Kailangan yung kamukaon before ni mo na siya itumar. Okay? So uh, there are uh, like ang pinaka pinaka notorious na nila would be yeah your NSAIDs and also your broad spectrum. Uh, antibiotics, no? Kana sila, they are very notorious in causing um, hyperacidity, and sometimes even like kung adverse to they can vomiting, na na vomit nito. So these are some causes of your heartburn. Mam kana ng amin ako ng heartburn kaya kana bitong nabulagan bito ka ma'am din na break in yung heart. Amin mo na heart burn. Charot. <laughs> Anyways. Charot lang to siya ha. Alright. Thank you very much for your answers. Great insights everyone. 
So, uh, sa imong gastric gland, sa imuhang stomach, nakay two types of sec secretory cells. You have your parietal cells and your chief cells. Your parietal cells are responsible in releasing hydrochloric acid. So, bali, if masupress ni mo ang parietal cells, dili sila maka-release o hydrochloric acid kaayo. Nana siya, no? Your chief cells are important in secreting pepsinogens, on the other hand. So, your stomach has a pH of around 1.5 and 2.5. That is very acidic. This is very acidic. So, the lower the pH, the more acidic it is. So, remember that concept in general chemistry. The lower the pH, the more acidic it is. The higher the pH the more basic it is base base and acid all right okay so uh the next so while food is in the stomach it undergoes both physical and chemical digestion peristalsis aids in this uh, mechanical digestion well, kind of churn ang imong stomach ka, wah, wah. Diba na ay, sometimes ang mga feel ni imong stomach ka, wah, wah. Magkaanaan na siya, wah, wah. Or kanang ibong, kanang, kanang gutom bito ka, mag, wah. Magtingog siya. That's your stomach saying na, uy, kigutom na ko, pakanin ako. Ano siya. And then, with the chemical digestion, this is where uh, this bolus is, it mixes well with your gastric juices. Now, when this bolus gets mixed with the gastric juices, this will now become your chyme, okay? Chyme, C-H-Y-M-E, which passes in small amounts into the duodenum of your small intestines. So, katong before, pag ingest nemo from your mouth and it travels towards your esophagus, bolus pa ang tawag ato. When it gets when it gets mixed with gastric juices from the stomach, now it's called your chyme, C H Y M E. And so when you say muhang sphincter, no, kung relax galisha, when the sphincter is relaxed, it is closed. When it's in tension, it's open. Nada mong sphincter. Just think of it this way. Like, for example, kung saan yung pag-abis sa imuhang butthole, di ba kailangan ka mag- ugot-ugot. So, intention siya. Na-intention na kakahitabo sa imong kuan. So, ma-open siya kung intention siya. Mo-close siya kung wala, if it's relaxed. Pyloric sphincter. Let's go to the sphincters. This is the sphincter that connects your stomach to your duodenum. This... And then, wala mo niya description. Ano siya description, but I already told you this. And then, let's go to the small intestines, okay? So, oi, okay, oi. There are three divisions in your small intestines. You have your duodenum, jejunum, and your ileum. So, that's DJI. Just remember that uh, arrangement of letters are DJI. Duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Do the one first. That is the one that is connected to your stomach. So um, nutrients are being absorbed in the small intestines. Uh, proteins will be broken down into amino acids. Carbohydrates will be broken down into simple sugars like your glucose and other um, um, monosaccharides. And then your fats will be digested into fatty acids and glycerol. So uh, in small intestines... Um, Although ang diameter niya is small, it actually has villi. No? Villi are finger-like structures that projects into the intestinal cavity. So, pasulud sa intestinal cavity. Ang, one, of the pro, one, of the, one of the purposes of your villi is it actually increases the surface uh, area of your, your, what do you call this, your small intestines. No? Mura mo, mo taas yung mukhang... Um, Mataas, mura siya, dili mataas, mura siyang mulapad, nana. And your microvilli are cytoplasmic extensions of the epithelial cells of your villi. Your villi is also um, important in the movement of the the chyme, no? Ang movement niya. So, 
what is the logic behind the winding of your small intestines? Nga nung winding man kisha, ganaan siya giring-giring. Uh, the reason behind that is because it takes time for your food to be digested and absorbed. No? Just in case, wala, ni, wala na absorb ni dude ni nom ang kulang na kayang na-absorb na nutrients, at least pag adto niya kang jejunum o kang ilium, naapay time. No? Mas slow ang, mas slow down ang pag-absorb. So, your small intestines are given a huge amount of time, a long amount of time, so that it can absorb as much as it can. Oo. So, lisod sit ko nga ang intestine, kay straight lang, kay paspas kaayo. Paspas at kaayo na siya. So, mo naga wind na siya. Same, same yapo na siya sa inyong urinary system, actually. Sa excretory system that we'll be talking about tomorrow. Same na sila og concept na ang mga, ang mga tubes na nasa inyong kidneys, they're also winding. It's because it takes, uh, so that it will have enough time for it to reabsorb as much it could, as much as it could reabsorb. Anasha. So, mauna ang small intestines ni mo. And then, in this part, you have your assimilation. So, this is the process of transport and use of absorbed nutrients into the bloodstream. Okay. So, when cells have absorbed the nutrients, they will be transported to provide fuel and essential raw materials that the body needs. So, pag digest of foods in small intestines, kato mga macromolecules, which are Full, uh, which are converted into their small, uh, their simplest forms, they will be placed in your blood. And then, ang blood na dayon, basically, siya ang mag-transport towards the cells. No? So, mana lugar ang cell na nasa liver nga, oi, kailangan ko more sugar because I need to produce more ATP. So, mana ang brain nga, oi, kanang blood vessel, kanang Ang liver gusto daw siya og more blood. So ana din ang blood vessel. Yes, we're going to go there. We're going to vasodilate. We're going to expand our our diameter so that the blood will rush into the uh into the liver. Inana siya. So, that today yung blood paingon din siya sa liver and in and then it will deliver it will deliver the sugar that it needs. So inana ang yung concept no. So that is basically assimilation. And then, of course, you have your accessory organs. You have your pancreas, liver, and gallbladder. Now, I know they're called accessories, but they're very, very important. Huh? Very important, very important in digestion. So your pancreas, they actually produce hormones responsible for controlling the glucose level in blood and releases bicarbonate that neutralizes the acidity of the chyme. So si pancreas, na ashay alpha cells, and beta cells, no? The alpha cells will release glucagon. Uh, glucagon basically is iyahang store ang sugar for future use. So the glucagon will be sent into the uh, will be sent into the bloodstream, and then it will enable the storage of sugar, and it will be stored in your liver for future use. And then your beta cells will be releasing your insulin. No? Your insulin is that hormone that enables uh, your blood sugar, the, sh the, the sugar in your blood, to be transported into the cells. So, magamit. So, kung ang glucagon kay sugar storage, ang insulin kay sugar usage. Inanasia. So that's the difference between the two. So that is the task of the pancreas. That is why if somebody gets like pancreatic cancer, my God, grabi kinaka problematic. There will be problems with the absorption of nutrients, most of all with their sugar levels. Sometimes they die of that, which is very sad, no? Then you have your liver. Your liver aids in the digestion by producing an alkaline greenish yellow liquid which contains bile salts and bile pigments called bile. <laughs> Basically bile. Bile is very important in the emulsification of fat or ihang e digest ang fat or dissolve ang fat. No? Importante ka ayun ni jud ang bile. Diba, have you heard of kanang 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 putahi bito kanang pinapaitan. Have you heard of that? Kanang pinapaitan, paitan, paipait ba? Kana bitong ko iihaw nila ang baka. Ah, uh, nilang katong uh, gallbladder sa baka. 
which um, stores your ano your bile and then pao na nilang bile greenish yellow substance uh, load kina siya og baho and then ilan ang lutuon pinapaitan ang tawag na sa tagalog i don't know what it's called in bisaya unfortunately so um yeah that's a very very important on liver because we eat a lot of fatty foods mangod and we drink alcohol we, sometimes <laughs> we drink alcohol we drink a, a lot of drinks and toxins and a lot of food na toxins so kining liver is very important in detoxifying these drinks and foods that we eat so if masubraan ta kanang inom then di ba ang ang of course, kung mag-inom, kung mag-inom ang people, inom ang alcohol, they will be ingesting really fatty foods. Kaya nilang pulutan. So, mag-double time ang liver. Murag twice, uh, it's gonna work twice as much. So, maunang sometimes, uh, people who sort of like abuse uh, their eating habits, like drink alcohol and eat very, very fatty foods, they would end up with hepatitis non-viral hepatitis and it would lead to like liver cirrhosis and then you have your gallbladder your gallbladder basically is a greenish yellow bag which temporarily stores your bile no storage or dunesha and it releases the bile through the bile duct when this uh kining gallbladder it's because um if there is like an overproduction of bile and then it becomes stationary inside the gallbladder, it will become a stone. More than na gall stones. Okay, cholelithiasis. Or we call it in, in medical terms, it's cholelithiasis. Or commonly known as I sorry, gall stones. Mga bato ni galgadot gall stones. Yeah. So, question. What is bile used for? By the way, time check, it's 9.55. So we will finish. Uh, what is bile used for? Kindly answer in the chat box. Hello. What is bile used for? It breaks down fatty acids. Okay, good. How about the gamanisha function? Other functions? Helps your digestion. Lucky. Okay, digestive. <laughs> digestive system. So, of course, it helps with the digestion. Dude. Bile is a fluid that is made and released by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Lucky, but what is it used for? Bile contains bile acids, which are critical for digestion and absorption of fats and fat soluble vitamins in the small intestines. Yes. All right. So, that's what bile is used for. So, um, uh, as I've said, Kaganina. Because I love this word a lot, emulsification. It's, this is one of my favorite words, emulsify. I love that word. Emulsification of fats. Oh. Dissolve. Magpaka-dissolve of fats. Okay, Large panis lang molecules. So they are basically like chains of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Same with your carbohydrates. Pero mas complex na ila, mas taas ng ila ha. So naa kay saturated o nasa kay unsaturated fats. So responsible imong liver sa pag-digest aning fats. And you, uh, responsible sa ng liver, ay nga nung importante man siya because uh, that is the only way in which we can use fats. If that's the case nga, kung, kung nanalagay something wrong sa mong liver, yun na siya ka-release o bile o tarong, um, it will uh, or hyperactive na imong imong liver, you're going to experience like pain. Aside from pain in the liver side, you're going to sometimes vomit or sometimes ang 
ang imong bile it will invade your bloodstream and then it will cause your skin to be yellow and also the whites of your eyes can sclera nimo it will be yellow na usually found in hepatitis and um liver cirrhosis uh, patients yeah so that's what bile is for your large intestine is to absorb water, okay? Water and mineral salts. Mga yun na ilhang task. Uh, dili, munang ka nang murag, usa nang siya ka uh, ruta, like, dili siya pari sa small intestines, it's a winding, winding uh, road for them. Ang koan, ang large intestines, kaya nalang siya ascending, transverse, and descending. Okay. So, nalang siya short time to absorb water and also minerals so uh, walls are not the same with the small intestines because they don't have uh, villi and they're about uh, it takes about 18 to 24 hours for the large intestines uh, to be absorbed and then nutrients are that are not absorbed in the large intestines form a solid waste known as feces i love your feces <laughs> I love your beautiful feces. I'm just kidding. That will be your feces. Okay, time check. It's 9.59. So, napamuy classy after, diba? So, we will just uh, stop here and then we will continue with the rest uh, with, with feces. <laughs> we will continue with feces tomorrow. All right? So, uh, STEM 4, thank you so much for coming to our class today for our synchronous session. We will continue with the rest of the digestive system tomorrow. And uh, same gap on that time, 8 a.m. and the same link. Okay? Where can you find the link? It's in the Google Classroom. Katong koan. Katong. Di ba na naman ay link na to? Ito na ha? All right. So that is all. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. I will still not publish your quiz yet. Uma na after sa discussion. Okay? So thank you and have a good day. Goodbye, Stempor. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma